A Houston woman has to find a new place for her kidney transplant. She's been on the Memorial Herman transplant wait list, and she was thrilled when she found out her best friend offered her a new kidney. But just weeks later, here we are. The health system decided to put their liver and kidney transplant programs on hold. In a story you'll see only here on Fox, Abigail Dye spoke to that woman who is still anxiously awaiting surgery. Abigail. And that's the thing here, Anthony. Kelly still needs her kidney surgery. She just won't be getting it here at Memorial Hermann after spending months working with their transplant program. And tonight, she still doesn't have a clear answer as to why. Kelly Clark was just weeks away from getting a new kidney. I so close, like insanely close. Like it, it was just like a bad joke. Like I, I didn't believe it. The transplant program set to give her that life saving surgery abruptly shut down. I had to pull over and I was driving and I was just crying and, and um, pretty hysterically. Clark has been battling kidney disease since she was 11. Recently, she started dialysis, saying the life expectancy after starting that. Usually, the statistics are about five years. So she got on the Memorial Herman kidney transplant wait list. Her best friend was a match, and all that was left was scheduling the surgery. We've been waiting and waiting and have not had not heard anything. Then she saw an article with Memorial Herman's big announcement. They said in a statement the move is due to irregularities with donor acceptance criteria such as age and weight of the deceased donors in the liver program and decided to inactivate both programs due to their shared leadership structure. We reached out to try and get some more clarification on these irregularities, but haven't heard back. It's a little bit disconcerting I mean, it's a little scary. You know, I think what if I had gone through their program and there was something going on and I was affected by that. Clark says she was referred to Houston Methodist, who tells us they have over 1,200 people on their transplant list and are working to make these transitions as smooth as possible. The clock is ticking, I feel. Even if it's just, you know, a few more dialysis treatments, it's still a big deal. Clark says she's staying optimistic and thinks others who need a kidney should too. Be patient, you know, you will get a transplant. That's what I believe for all of us. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services is investigating this situation. You can read a full statement from them on fox26houston.com when you click on this story. And coming up on the News Edge at 10, we'll hear more from Kelly as to what she thinks patients should do if they're in her shoes right now. I'll have that for you coming up in just about an hour. Reporting live, Abigail Dye, Fox 26 News.